Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. all of a sudden. You haven't seen the news? Strandberg. You know who I mean? Yeah, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> well, he managed to escape this morning. Now he's taking his asylum at the conflict. No, I'm serious. He's at the shisha den right now laughing his ass off. <laughs> oh man, that is so like Jeff. But come on, GNN is one of the biggest news networks in the world. You can't just take their money and run. Well, apparently they're doing an interview with Klaus Stronberg, you know, that white-collar asshole who's held up at the Swedish consulate? Well, they needed a cameraman so bad that their producer just threw some money at Jeff and forgot to ask for ID. They think his name is Finley. But this could be like the interview of the year with GNN. Why wouldn't he just do it? Who knows where a gig like that could lead? Ah, uh, you know, Jeff, lazy as shit. <laughs> True that. So what? You think they're gonna storm the place? Oh, oh well, 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 Lobby checking out, and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Bobby Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Did you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just pays me a month's salary up front. Of course, I'm not gonna do it. No way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. Would you believe I said my name is Finley? Right, so I'm at the shisha place down here at the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. You know, I sent her a mail and a text, but she's not fine. Told her. I told her to meet my word. Nice day for it, isn't it? Can I see your invite, please? I want to be a great guy. I mean, I am a great guy. I love the water in that pool. It's so calm and soothing.
You got an invite? Off you go, sir. Good evening, sir. Please come right through. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to ask. Hey, stay safe. You know when you try to say something clever, something witty, and your brain just goes... Shoot. This is it, guys. Big one. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson.
That is Klaus Strandberg, most wanted man in Morocco. Aha! Capital, you made it! Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Hmm? I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finley. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Strandberg. Access to the consulate and first row seats Let for the interview. Nicely done, 47. Just a second. Assume the position, please, sir. Arms to the side, legs apart. Great. What the hell is that doing there? We have to do this to everybody. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. Go right ahead. With whom he had a daughter, Eva. Wait, Strandberg's a father? In the loosest body. admitting to taking this money, the seven billion dollars from the Moroccan people? Why not? An opportunity presented itself. Again, all within the... <laughs> Next up, Reza Zaydan. Deal with this man.
lots of photographers here. Hello, hi, welcome, welcome, please. Nice camera, good quality. You shooting for... Hey, you watch your step, mister. Hello, come in, come in. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, and he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park the damn thing, but that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right, and maybe my carpets are mad. Oh, get your man. Hey, um, excuse me, I don't... Can I? A mother! General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close, so what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed in the first attack scrapper to prison ramp. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate Gen General Zaydan. Whoa!
That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. So what do you do? Uh, never you mind. General Zaydan... We got cold feet about the operation. Try to rat us out. Oh, you know, we're a fool forever. It was so ex-wife. Yeah, that, that's why you stay at the ex You're dismissed. General Satan's orders. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. You're dismissed. General Satan's orders. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Time to decide. What should I do? Well, don't tell me you're sleeping, Said. Plenty of time for that. I'm Both targets down. Now head towards an exit.
Officer, how are you? Sorry, sir. 